Wednesday. This is a Dango track. Hello, Wednesday. What you got, bro? What's rapid fire? Talk to us. Uh, Mario Lopez versus the transgender community. This, not, this is rapid fire? This is, but we have mad. We, have, we really go. We got I don't three. Think other, we had, besides what? that, we had two other topics. Bro. What are the other two? Uh, Capital One and Tyler the Creator. Okay. So, so, really quickly, Mario Lopez went on record stating. Who was Mario Lopez? He was okay. the gentleman. AC Slater. Oh, a- um, I was going to say from Save. He, he, he wasn't going to get it. He wasn't going to get it. No, I was going to say the gentleman from Save the Bell. He was, gonna gonna he was a talk show host on one of them band shows. I was going to say he's from Save the Bell. I was going to say what? Save the Bell? Save the Bell. Save by the Bell. Save the bell. Got you. Save saved by the bell. Little, I am slightly inebriated. I apologize. I think it yeah. says saved the bell. But you know what I meant, nigga. Saving he bells. To, he was about to throw it out. He was the nigga with the jerry it. curl. <laughs> shit. Shit. Yeah. But So what happened? Because I don't know. Um, Make it quick. He was asked a question about children growing up and, and changing their, their gender at an early age. As children. children. Pretty much he said that um, yes. children transitioning, the word transitioning, transitioning. Okay. is a weird trend. Mm-hmm. And, yes, and parents need to pretty much be more in control and say, "No, you're not transitioning. <laughs> like you're gonna learn this, and then as you get older, when you become an adult, you can you now can make, make that the decision for yourself." But as of right now, what? You're a child. Yeah. You don't get to make that decision. So because of that's that, what he's saying. So because of that, he's been catching a lot of like, strip from the transgender community, the LBGTQ community. Oh, good job. I, I, I'm trying I, to see if you're gonna get the Yeah, I didn't know because it is so hard to say. <laughs> it I don't. Hard. I don't mean to offend, but I, it's like that shit. As is long hard. as you go LGBTQ, I got quotes. You good. I got quotes. You got quotes. Yeah, uh, Mario was talking to um, Candace. Mm-hmm. I don't even know who fucking Candace is. I'm just, Candace Owens. Owens. There you go. Okay, there you go. I was about cool. to say. All right. We know who Candace Owens is, right? <sighs> so he pretty much they had a conversation back and forth, and he was like, "Well, he 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 sees this as a weird trend. He's like, I can't get really, I really can't get behind it. I don't know what's going on." Um, Candace said, I'm trying to understand this new Hollywood mentality mm. um, where they just think their children have the mental authority to make these decisions, Ooh. which is valid. I mean, Wait, kids are kids. Is that not her agreeing with him? Yes. Yeah, so, no, she agreed. Okay, she's no, agreeing. Okay, no, cool, cool, they, okay. they had a conversation. So they, an yeah, it was an argument. Okay. They, they were both feeding off but each other. They was agreeing, right? That, 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 um, that. Mario then said that um, he agreed. He said saying um, ch- a child is in no position to tell someone how to parent. Well, I'm in no position to tell someone how to parent their child. That's true. I think that um, you come from a place of love. You really can't go wrong. But at the same time, my God, if you're just, if you're three and you're saying you're feeling a certain way or you think that you're a boy or you're a girl or whatever the case may be, I just think it's dangerous as a parent to make this determination for them. So early. So he's pretty much saying, yes, they may feel a way, but one, let a child be a child. You rear them, but that's in a, what he in, was trying. I feel you like you rear trying. them in a direction that you would like them to go, because that's literally what parenting is. You you would hope that your child does this, and you would you you put them in a position to be the most successful or to to do one thing, and then when they get to a certain age, they make a decision for themselves. They're pretty much just saying that at the age of three or four, you're not going to tell me their words. That you are this and you are that and you're not a boy. If you're a young you're lady, not, you're not going to tell me you're a boy. And as a you're, pretty much, they receive the most flack ever for that. So how do y'all agree about? Like, how do y'all feel about that? <sighs> how do you? How, me. How do, uh, is, is the that, way I feel. Do you think that he should have gotten the flack that no, he I don't, did? I don't feel like he should have gotten the flack that he got because I do agree with in the sense of you should allow a child to be a child. That I I agree with hundred percent because a lot of times people put children in positions of making choices so early when they don't they don't have the experience to make a choice in the first place so you're 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 trying to give a child the you're trying to make a child make a choice about something that they really don't even know anything about yet Mm -hmm. so is i feel like that's a lot of pressure to put on a child so i feel like you should just allow a child to be a child and as they grow and they mature like he said eventually they'll come to their own they'll come to themselves and figure out what it is that they want to do mm-hmm I feel like, excuse me, he may have, the words that he used may have hurt them in a certain way. When he said weird, probably, I think that, that kind that's of probably, threw, that's threw what, a loop. That's what threw the wrench in it. I that, don't think yeah. he said any, I don't think they were mad about anything he said up until the word weird. You understand? Because 
I don't, he, they don't want to be they're, they're fighting for their rights and they have all rights to fight for their rights. They don't want to be looked at as weird. And they don't want to be looked at as weird. So when you use words like weird or, or, or dangerous, the other word, it's dangerous. It's a trigger word. It's a trigger word. So I feel like he used the wrong words in those particular situations. I don't think he was wrong for saying that you should just allow a child to be a child and as they grow and as they learn themselves, they'll figure out what it is that they really want to do. But a lot of times what he's saying, people allow a child to say, I'm a boy when they're a girl at two or three. But do you even know what a boy and a girl really is at two or three? Pretty much with, with all this gender neutral stuff and this, this, this gender equality, the new parenting technique is to say, I'm going to let you be you. And whatever you decide you are, I would raise you to be the best you possible. No, you want to know what the real new parenting style is? What? That there is no sex at all. Do you agree with that? No, I don't agree with that. I don't even think that's a new parenting style. I okay. also think Mara Lopez is a goddamn idiot. Like you think so? Yeah, I think he's a, I think he's an idiot. Okay. I think he's an idiot because just because just because Mario Lopez says that there's a trend doesn't mean that there's a fucking trend. True. You yeah. don't see a trend though? No, I don't. Okay. okay. I okay. don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I mean, just because a few more people are doing it doesn't make it a trend. Gotcha. Fair <laughs> You that know what I'm saying? Understand. I'm just like, to me, it's like a straw man argument. Like, it's just because one person says it doesn't make it true. Mm-hmm. Pudi said, I don't understand that how parents allow this thought process. It starts at home. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm kind of, I'm going to align myself with that train of thought because I do believe it does start at home. And I do believe that, yes, you are a child. You are a person still. Mm-hmm. You, should, course, you should be. Absolutely. But there, when it comes to parenting, or at least the way I was parented, this is what it is. This is what it's going to be because you're under my house. You're under my rules. Mm-hmm. And then when you get grown and you go in, in, into the world, you then can make the decision for yourself. And nobody, and Maybe I, that's the wrong even, way of thinking. And even, I don't, I don't but, even think he's even discrediting, discrediting what Mario was saying in a sense of as you grow, you're going to know what you want. And if as you're growing, you're saying, hey, not for nothing. Nah, I know this is what I like. This is what I want. This is how I feel. Then that's a conversation you and I as a parent and child. Okay, so let's throw it out there. Your seven-year-old child comes to you and says, hey, I'm gay. We're going to have a conversation. Mario is saying that, okay, mm, that's kind of a weird trend. Mario's words. Mm. This is a weird trend. Mm -hmm. And in my household, you're going to be a certain way until you're old enough to then really make that decision for yourself. Mm. Right? Is that a wrong thing for Mario to say? That's pretty much where we're at right now. Is that wrong? I want to say yes. I'm going to say yes. So it is wrong. I'm going to say yes. Got you. I'm going to say yes. How you feel about that, Josh? Say that again. Sorry. Seven-year-old mm. comes to you and says, Daddy, mm. I'm gay. Mm. Are you like, all right, cool. You're gay. Boom. Let's get it. I'm going to embrace the gayness. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to bring you up as a gay individual, mm. and this is your rights, and this is what's going on, and blah, 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 blah. We're going to embrace it. Or do you say, well, wait a minute. You're under my roof. So you're not so as, gay. So as you're under my roof, you're going to learn this way. And then when you get old enough, you can now make that decision. How do you approach that situation? Yeah, I, I have a problem with it in the sense of, here's the thing. I wouldn't... Shout out to Taz on the check. What's up, what's Taz? Up? What up, what up? I wouldn't think... I would pretty much be like, okay, if you're, you're, you're gay, cool. But in the back of my mind, I'm like... You might not be, and you don't know yet. This is why I'm so saying. So I, how I would how yeah. I would play it, it would just be like, okay, fine. Like right. you tell me that. Because here's the thing. Like I've actually, like I've actually met like a transgender twelve year old before, okay. and I never I didn't ask this question, but like I was I was at like a storytelling podcast, and this twelve year old actually was telling their story, their story, yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, it was really interesting. And long story short, afterwards. Someone, when we were on the street, someone was asking their parents, you know, don't you think it's a little, did you ever think like it was a little strange, you know, because this is, this child's so young making that decision. And granted, it's not like they got gender reassignment surgery or something like that, you know, at such an early age, you know. Um, And the parents said, well, you know what, we, they were just like, well, you know what, if it turns out later on that that, you are, that, that they're, that they're not transgender. Mm Mm-hmm. Then it's fine. Like it, then, like either way is fine. Like you know what I'm saying. Like I see you're still my kid. Because like because because I think because like because they fully realize that like their kid could still be figuring it out. Yeah. And and if this is a phase, 
then it's the, just a phase. Then it's just a phase. This is why. It's, that's why that's, I said. That's why that I'm saying it's it just doesn't, a conversation yeah. that needs to be had with the child because yeah. live really and truly, if a child says, "Dad, Daddy, I'm gay," okay, you're gay. What? First question I'm gonna ask is, how do you know that you're gay? Mm. That is legitimately the first question. Because I like men, nigga. What you mean? <laughs> you feel me? I but like niggas. That's the first question. How do you know you're gay? Mm. What makes you know within yourself that you're gay? Do you know what it means to be gay? Mm. And then if the child can fully answer these questions for me, then it's like, okay, then it's something. Then we have to have a different conversation. But Tessa, the same way you shy your daughter away from boys until she was old enough to understand how not to get taken advantage of is the same approach with a gay boy just finding out that he likes boys. But this is why I'm saying in that situation, that's a, just a conversation. You need to have the con- what it is is especially in the black community, we're scared to have the conversation with our children. That is a you leg- keep aiming at the black community, and I'm going to keep disagreeing. I I'm going to keep disagreeing. I, but I, we, I know you are black, but I'm going to disagree and, and because I'm going to only speak on what I know. And, and I'm going to speak on what I, I know. Growing I'm, up, I had plenty of conversations with my mother. And you did, but me, I'm I'm telling you. So then you can't say was, the black community. Say your community. Okay, fine. Fair enough. What cool. I'm going to say is. Stop doing that. That is something that in my household was frowned upon. Hmm. Big. You understand? I'm, I'm West Indian and, and, and church and God, God fear. That was frowned upon 110%. So with that being said. If that was something that I said, hey, mom, I'm gay, it wasn't no conversation to be had. It would just be like, no, you're not gay. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gay. No, you're not. <laughs> you're, but the, we're la- I'm, we're laughing. I'm making a joke, but that's legitimately no, no. how it would I'm go. Like and that's mom. why I'm saying, instead of you making it, by you automatically telling a child they're not gay, they're going to be like, how you know I'm not gay? Nah, now I'm gay. But instead mm. of you having a conversation just saying, okay, you know what, baby, how do you know you're gay? Well, I feel like this, this, and this. And based off of the conversation, the child really might not be gay. They just don't fully understand what's going on with them it yet. Take, it takes time to, to understand your sexuality. And this is what I'm saying. Right? So by you just having a conversation, that's why I said yeah. Mario is, by Mario saying wait until you're 18 or 21, right. nah. Just, you can nip it in the bud from early and find out what's up with your kid by just having a conversation. Kids are way smarter than you think, bro. Mm. But I think that's what he said. He's, he did say that. Nah, what he said is wait until you're old enough to figure it out. Which is valid. Nah, bro. If you have a conversation with a kid and explain to them, they could say, hey, I'm gay, dad. But there's well, some, what's gay? There are some kids that figure it out. Actually, I'd say there's a lot more kids that figure it out earlier than you think. That's And that's why I'm saying you have a conversation with the child. Just have a conversation. Mm-hmm. Because once you have the conversation, then you'll know for sure, oh, you know what, maybe my child really is gay. Or maybe he just doesn't understand that what... So is, according to Mario Lopez, he said it's a weird trend. Do you believe right. that? Okay. Weird? My fault. Yes. Is, is it I, a weird I'm not going to use weird. I'm just going to say it is an... It is a complex trend. Okay. Maybe I just wouldn't call it a trend. This is supposed to be rapid fire. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. To go to like- you said rapid fire, but he said that. Like, okay, that's not rapid at all. <laughs> like, that's, that's <laughs> a, it's not rapid at all. That's a topic. That's topic. a deep subject. I yeah, ain't trying to cut you off, but. but, yeah. but Shout out to Aisha on the check. What's going but on? But like we said, Mario got in trouble in the media. He's, no, he's, he's, he's still in trouble. He's they're getting talking crucified about, They're right talking now. about cancel Mario Lopez. Canceling Mario Lopez. <laughs> like, they trying to cancel him on everything. So good.